Okay, I'm going to try this. Don't know if it'll work. This is about the bed sheets that I ordered from Timu Bed Sheets. And I'm finally getting to it. I got them all pre-washed. This room is so dark. I should have done this earlier in the day, so I have these lights here. All right. Here is a lesson in sheets. All right. Here are the sheets from the 70s. This was a wedding sheet from the 70s. This is how the wide the mattresses were back then. And this is the sheets. So if you have these kind of sheets, this is how wide our mattresses are nowadays. It's never going to fit. So you might as well chuck them or make pillowcases out of them or something. Now, here is the worst sheet in the world. The cheapest sheet that they make. See the elastic here? At least the elastic goes all the way around. They're shiny, they're thin. You could see right through it and it's shiny polyester fabric. Horrible sheets. Let's see if they have a tag, what the tag says. These are the sheets I'm using for my rag rug, cutting it up. I wanted to show you before I cut it up what a crap sheet's like. I guess it's better than nothing if you didn't. Oh, it's always in the last corner. It's called E Spirit Home. Oh, maybe that's just Spirit Home. I don't know. And it says, machine wash warm, use non-chlorine bleach, tumble low, dry low heat, 100% polyester made in China. And these, now I'm gonna use this elastic and take it out. The elastic's good. That's about it. All right, these are my most favorite sheets in the world. They are crisp, cotton, and tightly woven. If you could see how tight you can't, but the wove, the weave, you can't even see the threads, it's so tight. A, a lot of thread count. And the tag is gone and I'm so sorry. And I've worn them and worn them and sewed them because they ripped. And I'm so sad. And so that's why I bought these because I'm hoping it will replace. So it is so hard for me to change my bed because I have to pull the mattress out of the, we have this frame down here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, the mattress fits down inside the frame and then you can't even get it out. Lift this heavy mattress weighs so much. These new heavy ones. All right. It has this nice piping right here and it, you can see some thread count. Not like those others that are completely smooth. I can see some thread count, but I can tell it's totally 100% cotton. Okay, like I said, I should have done this earlier today when we had more light. So it's plenty big for my mattress and it comes all the way down here to tuck in. And they, oh, they feel divine. They feel, you know, like cotton, total cotton. How do you tell, how do you describe that feeling? It's cool. It's, I don't know how to describe it. All right, so here it looks on there. Of course, the mattress isn't in the hole, right? All right, now here's the top sheet with the wide, wide hem, seven inch hem. Okay. I never know. Do you put the do you put the fancy side up or the fancy side down? To me, in the summertime, I put it down because then when your bed's open, you can see the prettiness. In the winter, I don't know what you do. It doesn't matter because they both feel the same. But I don't know what the correct way to do it is. Where's Martha when we need her? 
much easier when you have two people making a bed. And here's the ribbon tag. It didn't wear out one bit because it's ribbon. Yep. All right, this is the top. And I think I'm gonna put the flowers down because I'm gonna be having my electric blanket on the top here. And I don't think it'll ever be shown. Now I always go up here to the top and put it where I want it first. Cause you know, you're supposed to fold over the top hem And then over here, fix it. I think they should make them a little longer this way nowadays, because with that tall mattress, you got to tuck it in. And then here's my electric blanket, which... I mean, I have to put it on now because I'm going to be dropping the mattress in the hole. And if I don't have it on now, it won't get tucked in right. Oh, see the cords right there. And this is a Timu electric blanket. And I'm real happy with it so far. Dual controls. Oh. Someday I'm going to have to hire somebody to do this because you have to be strong. And then it's all underneath here with the cords. Okay. I can't pull that anymore because it's tied with the cords. All right. We'll have to readjust it later. But anyway. Now, the pillowcase. Let's look at it. Here's the pillowcase. You can tell it's cotton. Look. I should iron it. And guess what? My husband doesn't get a pillowcase. Because he will just ruin it. With his head. So, I'm not going to say any more. Just that. Ah, oh, look. And then you tie these. If they were ironed, you could tie them in a prettier bow. But, you know, I know I have four irons. So it's I'm not, not ironing it because of that reason. It's because of the time. So I'll say the sheets, I like them. Are they the very, very best? Um, I can still count a little thread count in the sheets. They're not as smooth as I would have maybe per kale. I think per kale are, there's a crisp sheet and there's a soft sheet. I think there's two kinds. This is the soft sheet, not the crisp. So I will leave it at that. All right, I'll link below the sheets and the electric blanket so you will know if you are interested in buying them and oh it didn't go off that means i forgot to say and subscribe <laughs>